Yay, sequence is a list of numbers. We're, we're very excited about a list of numbers. Look some commas in there. What would I have to do to turn that into a series? What would I have to add in there to turn it into a series? Yeah. Well, you can have infinite series. Sequences and series both can be finite or infinite. You don't have to have an endpoint, but there's something missing. What, if this was a series, what would be there? Some sort of relations, but an operation, like an addition sign or subtraction sign or some combination of addition and subtraction. A, se a series, a series is going to be like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. But what's a sequence? 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5. There's no operation. The key is it's a list. It's a list. Is there any operation? Is there any operation? No, there's not. So we need to first be able to actually create them based on definitions, so based on functions. So if I gave you this right here, this question, give the first six terms of the following sequences. I'd like you to do that right now. Without any further instruction, I'd like you to list in OneNote, however you like to do it in class note section. I think I set you up with a class note section. In there, label it the date. Give the first six terms of those sequences. Go. In this case, here are two sequences. Write me the explicit or an explicit formula for each. Write me an explicit formula for each. SN equals two to the N Thank you for saying the whole thing. SN is equal to two to the N minus one. Nice, I like that, nice. Anybody have the second one? Or can someone before they give me the second one, tell me what's one thing you can structurally do to the second one to make it easier to work with from the beginning? What could you do? Yeah, make it fit the pattern. Math is a study of patterns, so make it easier on yourself. Is there one way to come up with these formulas? Like, is there one algorithm you're following? No. It's like factoring. How do you get good at doing this? Practice. It's just practice. You start noticing, oh, two times, oh, that's six. So, oh, that's an exponential. That's obviously exponential. Oh, it looks like it's multiples of three, kind of, that kind of thing. Anybody have this one? Uh, yeah. Seven over three n minus one. Seven over three n, quantity, like that? Yeah. Nice. It does work nicely. Excellent. Here's another thing. Writing out sequences from their formulas is pretty straightforward. Going in the reverse, writing out the formula from the sequence, what do you think is generally going to be harder to do? The second one, right? It's kind of like multiplying and factoring. What's generally easier, multiplying or factoring, generally? Multiplying is generally easier, right? And that's the basis of a lot of our codes, one-way functions. Functions that are really easy to do one way, and they're really fast, but going the other way, really hard without a key. Similarly, though, kind of as a sub-thing, we'll talk about this in a second, but as a sub-thing, linear function just starting at 4 and adding 3. Yeah, exciting. What about the next one? Who has the next one for me? Yeah, Ken? Nice. Did you like the multiplication there? I had a kid years and years ago, one of my first classes, he could do multiplication, division, and subtraction as fast as he could write. And he could write like just as fast as you possibly can imagine. So in a finance class, he would like race us on things like what's 1.07 to the fourth power. So people would be like, get the calculator, 1.07 to the fourth. And he'd be like, done already. It's amazing. Okay. Recursively.